Hi everyone, so I've connected a new technology EM6Q MXQ Android uh, set-top box, the quad-core set-top box with a Cortex A5 processor uh, It's AM Logic S802 uh, uh, I've connected Ethernet, uh, HDMI, the power and uh, four USB devices because it has four USB ports uh, this is the remote, it's usable in XBMC on the main menu but I will use the Melee for testing <coughs> so I've already started the box ok, I won't show you the boot sequence because it takes two minutes so this UI is quite familiar, it's found in the AM Logic S802 boxes as well Alright, so we've, at the top we've got the Wi-Fi, USB, ne network, and the date and you, there are some menus like online video with Netflix, YouTube, XPMC, all pre-installed Ok, some favorite settings, algorithm, my apps is a list of apps so most of them I install by myself Music local is a file. I ah know it's a gallery movie player on file browser. I will not go this. And here you have shortcuts, so you can add them with a plus here. Some people ask me in the in the order, and then you just select the one you want. Maybe you want CPU Z, but you don't want the app installer, so you unselect. Up and it's replaced. All right. So let's go in the settings. <coughs> well, yet again, it's very similar. It's uh, exactly the same actually as the other one. You have the network with Wi-Fi and Ethernet. The display settings. Uh, when I first started the box, it was an auto detection, but it was set to 720p, and I changed to 1080p, and the UI is uh, really 1080p. Uh, by default the status bar is hidden, but I prefer to have it. Uh, display position is to adjust the size on the screen saver. Alright, in advance you have Miracast, I haven't tried. Uh, the remote control, soft remote control also not, con not tried. CEC control for HDMI. Uh, they have some location for the weather, but it's only in China. Uh, this one, two options for the orientation, portrayal landscape, and digital audio output, PCM, SPDIF, or HDMI path through. Since I don't have equipment yet, I haven't tested path through. And others show the model number, HD18Q is a board name, Android version 4.4.2, and Canon version 3.10.33. Uh, system update. There is no online backup, uh, online update. Right? So um, I guess it can be set up, but any technology is a manufacturer, so maybe they didn't, and their customer will. Uh, then the settings is a phone interface. You have Wi Fi, Ethernet, data usage, as well as portable hotspot on VPN, sound, nothing much here, same for display. Uh, the storage has a single partition with uh, 5.26 gigabyte free uh, in total and a little bit free permission, location, security ok, language uh, ok, as usual you have all the android languages you may want I guess Ok, I've also installed a null keyboard uh, in order to disable the soft keyboard since I use an um, air mouse Alright, developer option, I enable them uh, About media box Ok, you can see the board number Same version And that's all Oh, that's the settings uh, Maybe I'll go I'll show something in CPU Z quickly. So you can see the governor is set to performance. So all four CPUs are set 
to maximum clock speed. So they don't try to save any power in this type of box. Oh, what was that? Okay, and a quick look at XPMC. It takes a little while, uh, it's okay, not too, not too bad. Takes some time to start. If I go to system info, okay, we can see four CPUs, and the resolution is in the 1080p and rendered at 30 frames per second. Uh, XPMC will not support H.265 but MX player will using hardware decoding. Where is it? Here, HGVC. Okay, 1080p video with MX player. Start over. Okay, and you see here at the top is hardware decoding. So H.265 is working not in XPNC but in MX player. So it's pretty nice. However, if I skip forward, it will not work. And sometimes it will work, but <laughs> we switch back to software decoding so uh, that's uh, probably a bug somewhere in the system or with MX player all right let's go back to home menu all right and that's all for today thank you for watching bye bye